Job chapter 20 verse 22 In the fullness of his sufficiency he shall be in straits Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him When he is about to fill his belly Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him And shall rain it upon him while he is eating I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai By Hashem Rakakwadash Double honors to my apostles and elders of great millstone who rule well and salutations to the Lord's hopeful elect scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War back at you again with another lesson, and this one's going to be a quick hit, straight to the point, Lord willing, uh, hopefully edifying. I want to start here in Job 20, and I start at 4. It says, Knowest thou not this of old, since man was placed upon earth? That the triumphing of the wicked is short and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment. Though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever. Like his own dung, they which have seen him shall say, where is he? You know, here in uh, verse six, as it says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds. When you look the word excellency up uh, here in the blue letter, the Hebrew word here is shaya, so shaya, shaya, and it says um, loftiness of pride, excellency, elevation, excellency. Down here at the lexicon, it says elevation, height. All right, so what? The elevation and height of his pride. It says, though his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung. They which have seen him shall say, where is he? So you have the elevation height of his pride, which mount up to the heavens, you know, and also what he have in the heavens, you know, as far as physically. He has satellites, all right? Technology where that get, it gives him eyes to see across the whole world, all right? This is power from Yahweh on his left-hand side, all right? And this was gives him that pride, let alone his beast system. So it says, due to his excellency mount up to the heavens and his head reach unto the clouds, yet he shall perish forever like his own dung and they which have seen him shall say where is he so this so esau being a proud man which think his house shall continue forever the scriptures say yet he shall perish forever like his own dung all right and it says they which have seen him shall say where is he so when yahweh shall return and recover the, and recover the remnant of his elect and give the kingdom to jacob starting with his elect you know, we're going to look at this wicked society as like a dream. We're going to treat it. It's going to be like a dream. You know, something that vanishes, vanish away. All right. And that's his kingdom. He won't have any remembrance. All right. Which is in righteousness to remember. Because this is the portion of a wicked man and the heritage appointed to a wicked man by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, you have three classifications of men. You have uh, the sons of the living power. You have the sons of man, and you also have the sons of the wicked. So this is the portion of a wicked man. All right, which is Esau, Edom. And as Apostle Paul has said in 2 Thessalonians, the second chapter, he said, uh, uh, he shall be revealed in his time, which is who, which is who? the son of perdition. All right, the son of perdition. All right, so now um, I look the word excellency up. So now I want to jump down, but let's read verse. I'm going to read verse eight. It says, he shall fly away as a dream and shall not be found. Yea, he shall be chased away as a vision of a night. All right, so I want to jump down a little bit and get to verse 22. It says, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked shall come upon him. So in the fullness of his abundance, right? He shall be in straits, meaning distress, difficulty. 
it says every hand of the wicked shall come upon him so let's look up this word wicked all right because if you read this without understanding you will be confused now this wicked which the bible gives us um dark parables and deep sayings you know you have to understand the context in which the uh, scriptures is written so the wicked this hebrew word here is uh amala amal 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 right or oh, amal it says laborer sufferer wretched one laborer workman sufferer toiling uh, uh figuratively sorrowful that laboreth that is a misery had taken labor wicked workman now in the lexicon it says laboring especially with the weariness and exhaustion now it gives us precepts please he asks these 2 and 22 so let me go there this is a uh, please he asks these 2 and verse 22 for what have man of all his labor and of the vexation of his heart wherein he hath labored under the sun for all his days are sorrows and his travail grief yea his heart taketh not rest in the night this is also vanity all right so let's get it one more four and eight this is ecclesiastes four and eight it says there is one alone and there is not a second Yea, he have neither child nor brother, yet is there no end of all his labor. Neither is his eye satisfied with riches, neither say he, for whom do I labor and bereave my soul of good. This is also vanity, yea, it is a sore travail. So this word wicked in this context is talking about the laborer, which is the, the slave. Okay, the one who was miserable and working, all right, which was sorrowful in his labors, all right. So now when we read it again, in the fullness of his sufficiency, he shall be in straits. Every hand of the wicked, which is the laborer, which who are the laborers? Us, okay, the Israelites. And um, thinking of Job, the fifth chapter, the land of drawn water, okay. It says every hand every hand of the wicked shall come upon him when he is about to fill his belly Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating when he's about to fill his belly and complete his agenda it's going to be when he forced that that microchip all right and that microchip is game changer because once you implement it in your body he has full tracking and control over you with the right device okay he becomes a gps tracker he could control your money how much you have he can cut you off from society it becomes your new identity all right right now through uh, i'm not going to say the words but i'll say the initials c v p is now becoming your identity because it comes with what a barcode all right to register so if you got to go into um a place of uh business you're gonna have to show them that you've been v you know and you have your p and with your p card you have the barcode on there that's your registered identity so how much more when they force this chip which is the which is um the rfid microchip or even that narrow link chip because that's a brain chip the scriptures say in the uh, arm and forehead all right so it says when he is about to fill his belly yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him and shall rain it upon him while he is eating so esau is going to establish his beast system and his beast system all right the image of the beast which is the system okay is going to be running all right, it's gonna uh, work in his favor for a moment because once he about to fill his belly and complete it, it says Yahweh shall cast the fury of his wrath upon him. 
and shall rain it upon him while he is eating, man. All praises to Yahweh by Shimei Shai. And that just shows you that the Lord is the highest. Okay? He's the highest. Because he's going to, that's, ooh, uh, Yahweh Almighty, Allah Saijah, he's going to devastate Esau's world by bringing him to a destruction in one hour, according to Revelations 18. All right. In one hour, he's going to take this devil out. But it's going to be at the maximum excellency, elevation, height of his pride. Whew, man. Verse 24, he shall flee from the iron weapon and the bull of steel shall strike him through. It is drawn and cometh out of the body. Yea, the glittery sword cometh out of his goal. Terrors are upon him. All darkness shall be hid in his secret places. A fire not blown shall consume him. It shall go ill with him that is left in his tabernacle. And that's that thermonuclear destruction. All right. By the ways of ICBMs, intercontinental ballistic missiles. When it comes out of the body, meaning it comes out of its silo. All right. Comes out of that ground, that body of bitterness. All right. And it shoots off. To want to from one continent to another, and then you have those um, uh, war, nuclear warheads, which hits its target. All right. So, verse twenty-seven, it says, "The heaven shall reveal his iniquity, and the earth shall rise up against him. The increase of his house shall depart, and his goods shall flow away in the day of his wrath." This is the portion of a wicked man from Yahweh. And the heritage appoint unto him by Yahweh. So that's, you know, that's how you know the Lord is a jake. Because the Lord be rapping. You know, he be putting them words together. <laughs> you know, he said his word is quick and powerful and sharpening into a sword. You know, and I, I read this last verse here. You know, it's like the Lord is signing, sealing, and delivering. Signing, sealing, and delivering. Because he says, this is the portion of a wicked man of Yahweh. And the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. So just showing you the most high is the highest, man. Okay. You Edomites, all right, are nothing but but uh dirt and ashes. And the scriptures say, Why is dirt and ashes proud? So this is the portion of a wicked man. This is the lot and portion of a wicked man by Yahweh. So we know who the wicked is. We know what the wicked is. And uh, what consequences come with being the wicked? It says, and the heritage appointed unto him by Yahweh. All right. So the Lord is going to destroy this devil's kingdom, man. All right. So all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. So that's all I got. I will hope this lesson is edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.